Why does our eye twitch? Firstly, stress and anxiety can cause eye twitching. Hmm. Secondly, not getting enough sleep can also cause eye twitching. Hmm. Thirdly, staring at a screen for long periods can also cause eye strain and twitching. Hmm. Fourthly, consuming too much caffeine can cause eye twitching. Hmm. Lastly, some medications can also cause eye twitching. Hmm. Why did giraffes evolve to have long necks? Giraffes have long necks primarily to access food in tall trees like acacia that other herbivores can't reach. This evolutionary adaptation helps them thrive in habitats where competition for ground-level foliage is fierce. Hmm. Additionally, their necks are used for necking, a form of combat where males swing their necks to establish dominance and win mates. The longer and stronger the neck, the better the chance of success. Hmm. Why does a corpse flower stink? The corpse flower stinks to attract pollinators like flies and beetles that love the smell of rotting meat. Its foul odor comes from chemicals also found in decaying animals such as sulfur compounds. Hmm. Now, when the flower blooms, it also starts heating up, spreading its nasty smell even farther, making it seem like a warm, fresh carcass. These bugs, fooled by the stink, land on the flower and help pollinate it. Hence, the corpse flower stinks. Hmm. Why do we get a flaky scalp in winter? Firstly, cold air and low humidity can dry out our skin, including the scalp, leading to flakes and itchiness. Secondly, indoor heating also contributes to the dryness by removing moisture from the air. This can cause our scalp to lose its natural oils, leading to irritation. Thirdly, a lack of sunlight in the winter months can affect the balance of our scalp's natural oils and yeast-like fungi, like Malassezia, which can cause dandruff. Lastly, wearing hats during winter can further trap huh? heat and sweat, promoting dryness and flakes. Hmm. Why are clouds white in color? Sunlight, which we perceive as white, is a combination of all colors in the visible spectrum. Clouds consist of water droplets that are comparable in size to the wavelengths of sunlight. When light interacts with droplets of this size, it undergoes a process called MIE scattering. Unlike other types of scattering, MIE scattering affects all colors of light equally, blending them back into white. This is why clouds appear white to our eyes. Hmm. Why do humans fear snakes? Firstly, snakes can be deadly, so a natural fear response towards them could have helped early humans avoid dangerous encounters, increasing their chances of survival. Hmm. Secondly, snakes often have distinct features like a triangular head and a slithering movement that can trigger a fear response even without a direct threat. Hmm. Lastly, Direct negative experiences with snakes, like being bitten or seeing someone get bitten, may have solidified our fear of snakes. Mm. How high do planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Why are there so many pigeons? 
Pigeons as we know today are said to have descended from a wild creature known as the rock dove. It is believed that about 10,000 years ago, people began domesticating as well as breeding rock doves primarily for food. Over time, people realized that pigeons had excellent navigational skills. Pigeons started being used to guide lost ships towards land as well as to carry messages over long distances. Eventually, instead of looking at pigeons as a food source, people started breeding them as a hobby. Hmm. How are butterflies so colorful? Firstly, butterflies get their color from chemical pigments such as melanin, which absorb certain wavelengths of light while reflecting others. Secondly, butterflies' wings are made up of thousands of transparent microscopic scales. Also, each scale has multiple layers separated by air. Hence, when light passes through these scales, it is reflected multiple times. These reflections compound one another and intensify the colors. <laughs> hmm. What causes some people to stutter? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc., thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. How exactly do we cough? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm.